Right, so last time we finished the brief introduction of brush and how to use the brush to change the brush even though just the tip of the brush to completely change the style of your art. And so in this video, let's talk about briefly about color because color is a pretty big topic and um, yeah, you can, uh, I can I think it's been um, a few months on colors and uh, I still got more things to share with you guys. So um, I think um, just a brief introduction of how to adjust color, how to adjust the um, layout of color uh, in Photoshop and uh, yeah, and how to solve um, um, most common issues in adjusting color. So Photoshop is pretty, pretty powerful when they're dealing with color. So um, I think you um, previously uh, have uh, asked you guys to add a color to this layout panel and you can click this color you will see this layout panel and if you uh, can't see the layout panel like um, exactly like me you can adjust it okay so here is the place where you can adjust the color layout you click it and I think the default color layout is uh, is hue q okay something like this um, this is one of my personal favorite uh, color layout um, because it can quickly adjust color and adjust the brightness as well. So if I say like the red color, you can just uh, move it to red and adding more yeah, light to it or just more um, redness or light like pinkish color. I can just uh, drag, click and draw, brush, adding a new layer and you can just uh, draw it. Okay, so pretty simple. Okay, so if I say I'd uh, like to add a little, yeah, highlight something like that, you can do that. Pretty easy. And um, the reason for using this hue cue is that um, it kind of focus on the hue, and you can just uh, click and drag to get the basic setup of the big color um, or color channel. Uh, once you have chosen it, you can add the brightness. Um, some students may are uh, familiar with this uh, RGB slider uh, because you know um, I also do a, do a little bit of um, programming. So if you are, um, say, designing a website and you do the front website front end um, design and you like to set a certain color, you are most likely to deal with RGB which stand for red, green, and blue slide. And it's um, just uh, the uh, um, range of uh, uh, red and range of uh, green and range of blue mixed. And, and then if you add the three channel together, you can set that specific color. And the reason for using that in web design, especially in computer uh, uh, programming, is that um, you can set a specific number and copy and paste that specific number, even the hex code, uh, to get the exact number across the device. And um, it kind of is the web safe color um, if it can be um, uh, simplified with RGB, okay? But um, as a, uh, a, a digital artist, I don't recommend the RGB settings for your default um, color palette, but rather use the HSB slide or um, the hue cube, okay? So these two are my personal favorite because um, let's look at HSB. So HSB stands for, uh, sometimes you, you might see HSB as the HSL. Uh, it's uh, basically the same thing, but just using a different um, way to say, it, okay? So if it's HSL, uh, which stands for hue, saturation, and lightness, uh, but if it's B, uh, it stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. So lightness, brightness, yeah, basically, um, it's not exactly the same thing if you look at a, a 3D color palette. Um, um, but um, the, I think the Photoshop, uh, to avoid your um, confusion, they just set this to HSB, which is hue, saturation, and brightness. So um, this is better for the digital artist because um, we as digital artists, we sometimes 
uh, find the color by using the color picker and uh, use the color uh, pick, pick the color picked by your eyes. Okay, so uh, you will not know uh, what, what kind of percentage or what kind of number of a red, green, blue, something like that. You don't know that, but you can just say we we'd like to add a little bit. Um, I don't know grass, so I I, I just choose the um, shoe to blue, and uh, you can change the saturation of blue. Okay, so um, yeah. Saturation something like this, and this is just a warning sign which I will deal with later uh, because it's pretty common to get this warning. And of course, you can add more brightness into this, and then you can draw that. Okay, so if you think that is too bright, you can just uh, yeah adjust the brightness and draw that. Okay, so yeah, so. This is how to adjust color, and my personal favorite is use the HSB. And sometimes, if you are not, um, um, yeah, you don't have a pretty big screen and you, you want to make it a little smaller, you can just uh, click and drag to adjust that to make it a pretty, pretty small, okay? And you can adjust the color this way by click it and this way, okay? So, um, yeah. And uh, let's deal with this warning because um, um, I think 99% of the student will get this warning because uh, when they want to pick a certain color and they got this warning and this warning said that it's uh, out of the government for printing. Um, the reason for this warning, um, I'm not going to uh, expand very detail because uh, it's a little bit complicated. Um, but the root reason for that is that uh, if you use a printer to print, um, the printer's um, color scheme is a little bit different than your monitor, your computer's color scheme. So they kind of need to transfer your digital paintings or digital arts uh, information into the, um, the, the how much of the ink they should give um, to um, spray that into the uh, paper. And um, that kind of transfer uh, will have a different range range okay so if you're drawing on your computer and you choose that color that color will have a wider range than normally normally even though you got a pretty old computer but normally that computer will have a wider range than the printer so if you choose out of range and we'll just give you a warning okay out of the garment for printing so you can't paint this uh, print this color so if you click it it will adjust to the uh, most approximate uh, color point that uh, it can be print and um, you can adjust it but you can if you just create for digital other you don't need a uh, way to print you can just uh, go on okay you just go on drawing uh, with no problem at all and um, because uh, if you choose a pretty bright color uh, adding the brightness um, because you got a monitor and the monitor can adjust the light um, emitted by the monitor to adjust the, um, the the brightness but the our printer can't adjust the light okay so it's just adjust the ink they spray to the uh, paper okay so yeah and you, you, you sometimes get this warning and you can yeah just ignore it but if your work uh, need to be printed you can use a technique, uh, yeah, just view, and there is a um, government warning, uh, and you can use the shortcut, okay? And if you click it, you will see that some of a uh, part of the drawing's color can't be printed, and, and this uh, color can be adjusted, okay? And of course, if you cl click this and the color picker, you, you can kind of um, know that some part of the um, the, the color palettes that you choose can't be printed okay and you can even yeah, change the color and you will see the range that can't be print which is the uh, grayish area okay so yeah if you are so strict about printing you can use this technique and choose the color that can be printed or if they got a warning just click that warning and you can automatically adjust that color to the most printable approximate color uh, but uh, if you just uh, 
uh, draw the painting and uh, for viewer to view it uh, to post it on the web. I think most of the artists nowadays just post it on, uh, say, Pixiv or, um, uh, yeah, art station, something like that. So um, you don't worry, need to worry about it. But in uh, some art, for example, got a huge drawing masterpiece that you need to print it out. You need to, um, yeah, consider the color range issue here. Okay.